Hello, and welcome to the very first screencast of the Light and Optics Unit. Uh, in this first screencast, we're going to examine a little bit of the history of Light and Optics. Not too much into the history, because there's a lot of different people that have done a lot of different things. But it's just some of the, the foundational physics, the foundational ideas that uh, uh, started long, long ago. Uh, so we're going to identify uh, some challenges in explaining the nature of light and vision from so long ago and how those perspectives uh, formed the ideas we have now and have since uh, most likely changed since then. Uh, the idea about light uh, came long ago, long time ago. Mirrors and lenses have been used for thousands of years beginning in ancient China and Greece. Uh, they found them in archaeological finds, uh, dating back a very long time, surprisingly. Uh, one specific Greek scientist, who we've mentioned before, uh, Archimedes, uh, had a, once had a plan that actually would use mirrors to reflect light from the sun to defeat the Roman fleet. And so what he would do is set up a whole bunch of mirrors and use the sun to reflect and then point them down at the ships and try and ignite the ships. Uh, the Mythbusters tested this theory, uh, sadly, did not work as well as uh, Archimedes' story was. But there are principles behind it that do work. So, and we can take a look at that maybe in a little bit. Um, the next person I'd like to take a look at is Pythagoras. Now, I'm not sure what you remember about Pythagoras. Uh, definitely you should remember from math class. And I found this little cartoon, and I, I giggle every time I see it. Uh, but Pythagoras did have scientific background as well, not just mathematical. And Pythagoras had this idea that uh, the way we see light is because uh, light consisted of beams. And these beams, he called them, came from our eyes. That's where the light came from. And the reason that we could see was because the light beams were hitting everything. So essentially, it was like your eyeballs were flashlights. And the light was coming from your eyes and striking a surface. Now, there was an issue with this. This issue being, why couldn't we see in the dark if everything was coming from our eyes, why in the dark can we not see a thing? And this idea wasn't tested or questioned for hundreds of years because it was Pythagoras and he was a very smart man and you don't question smart people back then. But his idea that light consisted of beams, uh, we know that it's it's more than that today, but it was still a, a, a foundation. This, that light was a straight line and traveled in straight lines, but it didn't come from our eyes, certainly. Um, Isaac Newton, another very famous uh, scientist, dabbled a little bit with gravity but also fascinated by the colors of a rainbow. And there was a theory that suggested that uh, sunlight was somehow changed uh, from colored light, was a changed form of color light. And Newton, being the scientist that he was, would look at the sunlight and go, but it's white, so how is this color? And, and the story behind it is that the, the light came through his wall somehow and was, and was a striking a piece of glass, and on the, on the bench beside him or on the wall was projected a rainbow. And this rainbow kind of got him thinking, like, how is the sunlight in all these different colors? Um, and what he did was he showed that white light is actually a mixture of different colors. And we see that when we place crystals or something in front of light. right? It breaks up into a rainbow. And Newton suggested that as light passed through the prism, it split up into many separate colors. And then passing the rainbow colors through a second prism, you could actually possibly recombine it to white light. Now. In theory, this works. You can see in the diagram, we have white light coming in from the left, striking the prism, breaking apart into this beautiful rainbow. And the idea would be that if you took a similar prism and put it on the other side at just the right angle, you can actually collect the colors back into white again. Now, I've never been successful in doing this, but the theory is correct. The theory does stand true. Okay. The, all this history and all this knowledge about light brings us into basically uh, what properties of light are. These early ideas from all these individuals, and mainly the theory that mentioned here, Archimedes, Pythagoras, and Newton, um, they came together to come up with these four principles eventually. And these four principles are the following. Light travels in straight lines. Light can be reflected. Light can bend. And we'll talk a lot about that in this unit. And light is a form of energy. Everything we talk about this whole unit actually comes back to these four different properties. And we're going to focus on the first of the four in the next little bit here, and then cover two, three, and four as we go on. Uh, so that's it. Just a very quick introduction to the, the, the science behind um, the theory of light. And uh, we'll get more into light in just a minute here. Thanks for watching.